Some big stuff is happening in my life, in Team Mango's life, um, Timothy's life. It came to my attention recently that I often refer to my life as our life. When someone asks me how I'm doing, I say, we're doing great. Our business is great. Our life, like I refer to me as we. And I think that I've, uh, one of the things that I've been neglecting through this error of the Rob Rods is myself and maybe an individuality. Um, I love my brother so much. I couldn't imagine uh, going on this journey without them. This journey of life that is. And like the last few years have been so amazing. I feel so blessed. I cannot believe what we've done in the last few years. All the places we've gone, the people we've met, uh, the way we've been able to see ourselves in different places and around different people, man, it's just amazing. Um, and I think the, uh, one of the main proponents being able to do the things that we do is taking action on our desires. There's a big, big gap between what people want to do and what they're doing. Um, and I recently did something that I want to share with you guys. <laughs> um, I'm going to Africa on Monday, <laughs> uh, which might be tomorrow if I post this video on Sunday, but on the 15th, I'm going to Africa. And <clears throat> I'm going for 16 days. Um, my girlfriend, yes, I have a girlfriend. She is awesome. Is in Africa. And she's been there for about a month and a half. Um, and I'm going to visit her without my brothers, without anybody else. And I'm going with the, not only the intention to visit her, but to be very sensitive uh, to what God wants me to do on a daily basis. I want to wake up and just be, uh, start talking to God, asking Him, God, what is it that you want me to do today? And be very, very unattached to outcomes, uh, as I have been in my previous travels. You know, typically when I'm used to traveling, I'm going, it's like a destination orientation type thing. We're going to surf, going to get good fruits. We're going to these beautiful places. We have a mission. We're, we're very much, even as the Raw Bras, yeah, we were pretty attached to um, certain things. And this trip is a little bit different for me because I've never, I've never been to Africa. I have hardly traveled by myself. And um, I'm just going to experience on a more sensitive level what God wants me to do on a daily basis. And uh, I'm very excited about that. I'm nervous. I'm excited. And, you know, here I have this decision on my hands to... Um, you know, I had the invitation to go to Africa, <laughs> and I was like, my heart was, would race just at the thought of accepting that and doing it. Um, and I, I could think, I could have thought about it for a long time. And you gotta stop thinking about this and just do it. If you're gonna do it, you just gotta do it. Uh, so I, I booked a ticket with the with knowing that I had 36 hours to cancel and get a free uh, a full refund on my ticket. So that day, I, I was really praying a lot, like that God would show me. Um, if this is something that he wants me to do uh, in the next 36 hours, basically, like, is this, is this something? I just wanted some affirmation from God and uh, praying about it. Really, like, you know, pray, talking to God like he's right here in the room with us. He is right here in the room with us, matter of fact. He hears me. And <laughs> accepting that is a big part of prayer for me. And lo and behold, that night, the night, same night that I booked my ticket, me and Nathaniel are at the grocery store at Earth Fair, and this guy comes walking in, this black guy, uh, he goes, he walks by us, and I noticed he had a tribal belt on, and um, I asked him, I'm like, hey, look at that guy's belt, do you think he's African? And I was like, um, I don't know. I said, do you think I should talk to him? He's like, well, I was like, I'm, I gotta go talk to this guy. So he went straight to the juice bar, and I, I, I followed him, I tapped him on the shoulder, I said, hey man, He's like, hi. And I said, where'd you get that belt from? And uh, the words that came out of his mouth nearly uh, just put me in a stupor. <laughs> He's like, I, I said, where'd you get that belt from? He says, Kenya, why? 
And I was like, wow. <laughs> you got that belt from Kenya, huh? <laughs> and this African-American guy is looking at me like I'm crazy. And the guy is from Nairobi, Kenya. The exact spot I'm flying into. He was born and raised there and just recently moved to the United States. I can't believe it now and I, I definitely couldn't believe it uh, right then in that moment. It's crazy. I'm like, well, I just booked my ticket to Nairobi, Kenya today. And he just laughed. He's like, wow, man, that's awesome. He's like, so why do you, like, he was like looking at me like with a question mark. Like, did I know he was Kenyan and why am I talking to him? I had no idea. I was very hesitant to come talk to you. But something just brought me over here. Got my feet walking towards you, tapped you on the shoulder, and here I am talking to you. He smiled at me with his huge, like, angelic-like smile. And he's like, God's got some big plans for you in Kenya. And I couldn't believe he said that. Uh, he was just so encouraging of me going. And I was just like, wow, this is amazing. And um, I noticed when he walked in the grocery store that he was limping pretty, pretty seriously. Like, where he nearly needed assistance to, to walk. So before we left him that night and after we exchanged numbers, I asked him, Hey man, uh, Edmund, do you mind if my brother and I pray for you right now? Pray for your knee? And I haven't prayed for many people in public like this, but me and Nathaniel, we, we did. Uh, we prayed for him, prayed for his knee right there, and we, we left that night and I just felt really at peace after that, night, after that moment just about going to, to Africa. And I thank God for that sign. And thank you God for just showing me, uh, affirming that I am on the right path. <laughs> And uh, I talked to Edmund two days later. I gave him a call. I said, hey, man, how you doing? He's good, good. I'm like, how's your knee? He's like, oh, man, it's a miracle. My, he my knee is healed ever since you prayed for me. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I couldn't believe what I was hearing on the phone. Like, he had a serious issue with his knee. He could hardly stand up. So today, I actually met up with Edmund. And I could not believe what I saw. When he was walking across the street to meet me at the coffee shop, he was just walking perfectly. I was like, wow. And yeah, I met up with Edmund, um, and I shot a little video with him. And I'm just super stoked, guys. All right, so I'm here with Edmund. Um, now, before I bias the story, I want you to tell us how, how I met you. Well, um, I met Tim at um, Funfair, and I guess, you know, I was uh, limping in, and as I was, you know, getting a juice, and um, he came and walked to me after, you know, been, he had been watching me, I didn't know that, and, um, and he approached me and, you know, sort of talked to, talking to me, and um, uh, I was limping, as I say, and um, I told him what, you know, why, why, you know, I was limping, and he said, you know, uh, he asked, you know, for if he could pray, and I was like, wow, that's a special guy right there. <laughs> Prayer was always good, and oh boy, the next day I woke up, I was good to go. <laughs> when you said that prayer to me, and I was like, that's where you need to be, Kenya. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Well, I'm excited to visit your uh, your home country. And um, Edmund, I, I surely believe that God sent him an earth fair that night to reassure me that I was on the right path to go to Kenya and also to make a new friend and also to um, tap into the power of prayer because Nathaniel and I did pray for Edmund that night right there in the middle of the grocery store. And God, God is good, prayers work, and I'm glad that you know you took time for that prayer. Not too many people, you know, just approach you and say, can I pray for you? I really thank you for that team yes. and your brother, as you say, for that night. Really thank you so much. It healed me. Wow. And I feel great. Wow. I feel great. <laughs> thank you. That's amazing. Yes. God, God bless. Yes. <laughs> All right, Edmund. Well, uh, thanks for being on camera with me. Hey, uh, all I can say is, you know, Enjoy your trip, have a safe trip, and I, when you come back, you tell me, it's a beautiful place. The people are beautiful. They're welcoming, they're loving, God-fearing. All the best, my friend. Thank you. And I'm gonna actually visit his sister in Kenya, and uh, she, she works at the airport in Nairobi, so 
What more could I ask for? Hey, she's gonna make him some Kenyan food. I hope you're gonna like it. <laughs> All right. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. So I don't know what you're gonna get out of this story. Um, I just, I just know that I think our society has a little bit of a, a compulsive planning complex where we feel like we need to plan out our lives and make sure everything's structured and in place before we can take action on it. And I'm just here to tell you to take that leap of faith, to, uh, to pray, to pray about it and ask God for guidance. Pull the trigger on whatever it is that you want to do and start making things happen. You have to move. Be in movement always. Don't be stagnant. These are just a few things that I wanted to share with you guys and I hope that uh, you're inspired and encouraged and I'm just stoked and I, 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 I would really like you guys to be praying for me while I'm gone on my trip. Um, and yeah, if you have some prayer requests in them our way, I'd love to keep you in mind and pray for you. Oh, I couldn't believe it. You know. Wow. Because, you know, it was really bad. You saw me, you know, the way yeah, I, was I did. Walking, like, I was concerned you know. about your knee. I will remember when you told me I was turning, you know, it's like literally like, you know, yeah. I was in pain. You That's know. awesome, man. Yeah. yeah. And I'm glad that, you know, you came and, you know, it's rare, you know, people walk to you like that and say, can I offer prayer? It is very rare, uh, you know. And, yeah. you know, prayer too, it's a gift from God. Yeah. Not everybody can pray. Yeah. You know, not everybody can pray, but that was awesome. Wow. Yeah. And if you happen to live in Kenya or have connections there, um, hit me up at robrose at gmail.com. I also have a three-hour layover in Amsterdam if, uh, if you want to come say hi at the airport. <laughs> All right, peace.